It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Nergne O Brewery and this is a bottle of the Inappropriate Gardening. It's a cucumber farmhouse sour ale coming in at 6.5% ABV in a 500ml bottle. There's a look at it. Ignore the condensation. I've had it out the fridge about 15-20 minutes now, maybe 25 minutes, just to bring the temperature up a little bit but you're going to get a lot of that condensation rolling down the bottle. I wanted it at a perfect temperature, there's the bottle cap, to enjoy this beer. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. I wanted it cold, but not too cold. When you have a beer too cold, you almost immediately kind of ruin the flavours in the beer because you're chilling it down too much. It's not, all is not lost though. If you warm your beer up slightly, you bring all of those flavours back. So what I'm trying to say here is if you're new to craft beer, this is not a bottle of Foster's or a bottle of Carling. You know, your extra cold type beers. You've got to enjoy these beers at a certain temperature. I'd say between 10 and 7 degrees. That's my perfect optimum temperature for drinking beer because it's cold enough to enjoy but you're still getting all that wonderful flavour from the beer as the beer's kind of warmed up that little bit. Three finger, white head, hazy, amber coloured beer. Looks very good, there's like layers to the head. Lined layers, cracking. Look at that beer as I roll it around in the glass. That looks fabulous, absolutely fab fabulous. Now Nergneo from Norway, they produce some fantastic beers. Um, they were the standout brewery from, from Norway when they first came about. Probably the first brewery that really exported all across Europe. They were a brewery from Norway, which you could be more or less anywhere in Europe. If you were a beer lover, that is, and you would know who Nergneo were. Um, they were the the pioneers of Norwegian craft brewing back in the day. I still think they produce some tr tremendous, tremendous beer. Even though they've been bought out by a larger company, um, all is not lost. All is not lost because the larger company that owns, they're called Hansa, the, the, the biggest lager producer in Norway, called Hansa. Um, but they've left them alone. They've left Nergneo to their own devices to produce fantastic beer. Um, and th this seems like it's going to be one of them. Let's get the aroma. <laughs> Loads of cucumber. Loads of cucumber with a slight sweetness. It's got that kind of cucumber vegetation aroma to it. And I think that's why they call it inappropriate gardening. Because it, it almost smells like, um, it almost got the aroma, should I say. Let's be professional now. Um, it's almost got the aroma of a greenhouse. <laughs> In the best possible sense. Let's dive into this beer then. Lovely carbonation. Oh, what a lovely beer. Oh, ho, ho, what a fabulous beer this is. Stone the Crows. Oh, it's got all that wonder. It's like nectar. This is like nectar. It's got all those wonderful flavours of a, of a really decent ale. There's a little bit of sweetness with a the malt there. There's a biscuitiness, there's a breadiness, there's cucumber. I don't want to overemphasise on the cucumber because it's more than just cucumber, this beer. There's so much going on, the biscuitiness, the breadiness, the little bit of bitterness on the back end. It's got that quirky farmyard funkiness to it. The beer's very drinkable, 
but it's got a nice body to it. Did I mention that it was 6.5% ABV? Oh, that's wonderful. That is wonderful, Nergneo. That is absolutely wonderful. And again, it shows that when they were bought out by Hansa, they wasn't being restricted at all. They're still producing tremendous beer. It's a real shame. It's a real shame because this beer was sent to me by Nergneo. I just so happen to be wearing their t-shirt. I mean, it's something I grabbed out the drawer this morning. It's not something that I planned. I just, you know, had their t-shirt on and I'm doing a beer review from their, from their brewery. Um, so this beer review is not sponsored by Nergneo at all. The beer was kindly sent to me by Nergneo. But it's a real shame because I remember back in 2012, 2013, Everybody wanted to buy Nergneo and it was in all of the shops in the UK. And then as soon as they were bought out, it like disappeared. It completely disappeared off the UK shelves. And I find that a crying shame. Because now, although the people of Norway get to enjoy this beer probably on a regular basis, we, we in the UK, we don't get to see much of it anymore because of they've been bought up by a larger company and then in people's minds they're a larger company and they're, they're, they're part of the evil big empire if you like but it's not the case it's not the case I can guarantee it if you like a farmhouse ale and you like a bit of cucumber you will love this beer it is so refreshing it is so drinkable it's got a certain kind of candied feel to it like they've used Belgian candied sugar here. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. That is one of the best beers I've had from Nergneo. And I've had some stonkers. I've had some stonking beer from Nergneo over the years. That is one of the best beers I've had from Nergneo ever, ever. That is superb, superb beer. Uh, ingredients, local water, Norwegian malted barley, local wheat and oats, cucumbers from Sean, lemon, verbena and mint, hops and kvik from Voss. So they've used kvik yeast in here. There's lemon and mint. Lemon and mint, is it? You get a touch of mint. Honestly, that, that beer for me if I could choose to have any beer from Norway sent to me on a regular basis from Nergneo, it would be this one. I would say I want this sent to me all of the time. This is just wonderful. This would be the like for me the ultimate Norwegian fridge filler. It's wonderful. Wonderful. Looks good, smells good, tastes incredible. I like that enough. I wish I had more fingers. I wish I had more fingers. I like that enough to give it a 10 out of 10. If I had more fingers, I would give it more of a rating, but I can. 10 out of 10, that's maximum I can give. That's my maximum rating. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.